And now Dial, the soap that stops odor before it starts, presents Dial Dave Garraway. Well, there you are, just like the one we've been looking for all morning long. We've been a little team like Constance Short-Haired Russell and uh, Long-Haired Jack Haskell and uh, Art Van Dam and this Pendleton, Indiana Symphony Orchestra and uh, a few others, too. <laughs> we got Dial Soap, too, which we're the first to recommend, I bet you. Today, anyhow. But you'll be recommending it for days and days and years and years when you find out that this superb deodorant soap washes away all your worries about an old problem, perspiration odor. That's a statement that other soaps can't make, ordinary ones, because they don't. Dial with its AT7 does just what Connie thinks. Dial, that's D-I-A-L, Dial Soap. The newest, nicest way to stay free from odor, safe all day. We were going to do this show this morning from Pendleton, Indiana, but we thought it over and we thought we wouldn't. Instead, we'd have Pendleton, Indiana come here. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> the entire city, I think, has got into the studio. They're piled four layers thick at the moment. I don't want to ask how it is on the bottom layer, either. How, b- how big is Pendleton, Indiana? Well, I can count them for you. How many? <laughs> no kidding. How many people live in Pendleton? There's a big difference oh. of opinion here. I think maybe they left some of the town behind. I you just, do you remember uh, the definition of a small town? No. A small town is a town where if a fella gets a haircut, it changes the looks of the whole community. <laughs> <laughs> Think how Pendleton, Indiana must look this morning. Hey, what about those white socks? Twelve in a row. Gee whiz. You remember what I said about the white socks last November? What'd said they say? wouldn't win a game. That was <laughs> My prediction. I predict, though, that the white socks will win their next five games, making it 17 games in a row. I predict this. Predictions are pretty cheap. You can tell how many White Sox fans you've gotten here. There's a dead silence. <laughs> you've heard of the White Sox. Can they all be Cubs fans? I don't know. No, nope, I don't think they like baseball. You've heard of baseball. <laughs> I think they must be the Tendleton Tigers. Haskell, old boy. Yes, Dave. What's this Red Red Robin that you've got fooling around? Is this that is an one? old song. Is this the first one you've seen this spring? No. Well, tickle it a little. <laughs> When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his old sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I'll listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along. There'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his old sweet song. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing. Red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing. Red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. He picked up the paper this morning and uh, saw a rather fascinating article in there. It says that there's a big fashion show going on here in Chicago with all kinds of beautiful, glamorous, sleek, attractive models. And that uh, caught my eye. In fact, there was one part that was very interesting. It said, you can take the models home with you. Well, all right. <laughs> so I read on a little. And their description was, was pretty exciting. How would you like to take this home in your arms? A handy vegetable spray attached to a hose six feet long. There's a cuddly little item. You, you, could, <laughs> you could call her bubbles. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to make a date with a removable garbage receptacle. These are the models, though, and, and the fashion show is being put on by the plumbing industry. And it's a show about new kitchens, and I got to thinking what a really wonderful job you girls have done with kitchens. Remember how dingy they used to be? Now they're bright and sparkly and clean and uh, 
The old ice boxes are out and the clumsy, ugly old stoves and just about the most pleasant room in the house. Isn't it actually fun to wash dishes these days? No. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be fun to wash dishes in the Taj Mahal, I don't think. Say, where'd you hear that line before, Dave? Came off, <laughs> came off the Sunday TV show, I think, Dave. Very interesting, very interesting. Out of the kitchen and into the music room. What are you doing in the... There's a gentleman holding a lady on his lap over here, and he's paying no attention whatsoever. <laughs> Sing your song to him, Con. All right. We've got to have more chairs or stricter rules. <laughs> <laughs> If I told a lie, if I made you cry, when I said goodbye, I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, dear, I apologize. If I caused you pain, I know I'm to blame. Must have been insane, believe me. From the bottom of my heart, dear, I apologize. I realize I've been unfair to you. Please let me make amends. Don't say that you forgot the love we knew. After all, we were more than friends. If I've made you blue, I've had heartaches too. Now I beg of you, forgive me. how many people do know if they took a survey all over the world about what the big difference between dial soap and ordinary soaps is. You'd find a lot of people now who know already that it's AT7. You'd find a lot more who know what AT7 does. AT7 is the thing that makes dial such a different deodorant soap because it washes away the basic cause of the old worry, the little skin bacteria. But a lot of people would easily forget, I'll bet you, that the AT7 also makes it a wonderful complexion soap, too. The same soap. Because, the, um, well, put it this way, the cleaner your skin, the better your complexion. Now, that's fair, isn't it? Doctors say so. And Dial's fragrant, creamy, gentle lather, with its AT7, cleans your skin with a gentle thoroughness that no ordinary soap can do if you wash all week. The AT7 kills little skin bacteria, you see. The very ones who often aggravate and spread surface blemishes and make that complexion not so pleasant. But you don't have to tolerate them. Dial with AT7 destroys them, removes them outside. And yet it's as mild as the month we're in and just as friendly to your face as the other side of the pillow, just as cool and pretty. So just don't miss out on the extra protection that Dial will give your complexion. You get it now, if you like, in the new complexion size or the big old bath size, either one. Same wonderful product, Dial Soap. Hey, hey, Dave, I just checked. That, that fellow that's holding the girl on his lap, you, you know that dazed look he has in his eye? <laughs> yes. Well, I thought that was because he thought she was such a nice girl, but I checked with him, and it <laughs> seems that he has that dazed look because his lap has fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Happened to none of us. I, I said, stand up and walk around, and he said she'd walk away if I did. <laughs> Best way to keep him, come to think of it. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> did your lap ever fall asleep when you're playing the accordion? <laughs> I don't know. It may hear. Thank 
Any new records lately, Father? Yes, I have. Well, don't keep it a big secret. Speak right. What What are they? I'd like to go uh, buy one. Kind of Nano. It's one of them. You made that in 1950, 50, didn't you? No. Got any fresh new ones out today? Uh, yeah, there's one coming out. Bach meets El Mambo. Well, he sure is hard to get any dope out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> you should see the boys when they're playing. They, they play with a great deal of intensity. They look at each other with the clear, innocent eyes of a couple of used car salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way Connie sometimes looks at Jack when they sing these duets. You're going to do the pretty one, huh? Mm-hmm. All the words are so nice to this one. They try to tell us we're too young Too young to really be in love They say Can't begin to know the meaning of And yet we're not too young to know This love will last though years may go And then someday they may recall That handsome old sound. Where's old, uh, well, presenting a fly trap prentice <laughs> and Connie <laughs> and a little song about another fine armor product. Connie? It's the secret of you, chiffon soap flakes, the secret of you for everything you wash by hand, including your hands. Yes, you'll find chiffon soap flakes, the secret of youth for lingerie and all the things you wash by hand. Including your hands that do dishes daily. Uh, even with your eyes closed, you can feel a difference in those rich, satiny chiffon suds. Chiffon's not like th- synthetic chemicals that dry out the natural oils from your skin. Well, indeed not. Chiffon is pure soap. No pure soap was ever made. Your hands know it and show it. Chiffon soap flakes are so mild and gentle, they really are the secret of youth that keeps your hands looking youthfully soft and lovely. Try doing your dishes with chiffon. It's the secret of you, chiffon soap flakes, the secret of you, for everything you wash by hand, including your hands. Hey, never mind yourself. Do me a favor, will you? Drive carefully tomorrow. I don't want you to hit me someplace. And peace, all there. Tomorrow and each weekday at this same time, Armour and Company invite you to dial Dave Garraway. NBC, the national broadcasting company. Mm-hmm.